Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and it's been a little bit. So today I'm going to be talking about how managing a fleet of vehicles can be challenging, costly, and time-consuming, but it doesn't have to be. It's not always easy to keep track of all the maintenance, contracts, registrations, costs, and more. If you have one car or even a truck like I do, and yes, that's my car, you can probably keep track of it without management software. But what about when that business begins to boom? Well, in that case, eventually your business will reach a point where management software for your fleet is necessary to keep track of all those vehicles. Now, here at Stealthywood, as always, we use Odoo and Odoo's fleet application itself to stay on track. So enough chit chat. Let's dive into it so I can show you my car and others. So I'm here in the fleet application dashboard where I can actually see an overview of all of my company vehicles. And I can also manage them from here with a few clicks. Now from this dashboard, I can actually see the status of individual contracts and when they're going to be expiring. A red icon over here on this little triangle means it is overdue for renewal. Yellowish color over here on the other hand means that it needs to be renewed soon and that is a job for tomorrow, Jose. If there are any activities scheduled, you're actually going to see this little green hamburger icon which is conveniently next to this. And let's say I want to schedule another activity. I can actually click on that icon, or I can go to any of these where they have the little clock and schedule an activity. In our case, speaking of that car right there, I don't like how it looks. So please wash this car. It was looking a little bit messy. And if I wanted to, I can also assign it to someone else. In our case, I'm not going to get my hands dirty today. So Mike Speedway. You are scheduled and have duties for today. And just like that, we're done. Now, if I click into a specific vehicle, and let's go back into the one that we just worked on, I can see all of the information I need to know about this vehicle. First, I have the driver info here, right there. We can also assign the next driver if we know that information as the future driver. Now, the vehicle details are over here on the right, and we have a couple things. We have category. It's a compact or, you know, what type of vehicle it is. We also have very important things like... When it was registered, the latest mileage on the odometer, where it's located, and finally the fleet manager, who's me. So what about a contract history? Or when the vehicle was last serviced? We actually keep track of those things with the coolest thing ever, smart buttons, and they are up here. So let's take a look at the driver history smart button. I want you to keep an eye on this one. So let's say that in our case, there's a new driver. It's actually Colleen is going to be driving this vehicle. Well, she's from Azure Interior, and everything is right there. So I'm going to change the driver here on the vehicle page, and we're going to save manually. And you'll notice something kind of cool happens. Do you see that? It changed from 4 to 5. And we now see that the number has increased to reflect immediately that we've added a driver. And if we click into there, look at that. We can see Colleen and who else has been driving it throughout the whole history of this vehicle's history at our company. And even the dates. So... Let's go back over here to our car. I want to talk about a few of these other smart buttons. Over here, we have the contract smart button. Inside of it, we can click on it and see the active contract on this vehicle, including the start and end date. But that's for another video, so be sure to check that out. Not going to click it. All right, up next, we have the services smart button over here with a nice little wrench to let you know that's a service. That's where all the maintenance and repairs are logged, which, as you could tell, gives us the full vehicle's full service history. And if I click into any of these records, in our case, I could see not only the dates, but other things such as the service type, the cost, and a lot more information, like what was the odometer value when it was done. For this specific vehicle, we can even go ahead, and in our case, if we wanted to, we can create a new one. Let's uh, say right away I have a draft record that is automatically filled, and it's got my vehicle information, what this is going to be as a service type, and a lot of other things if I need to. But... I don't need to log or schedule anything today, so I'm actually just going to discard that over there, and we're going to go back over here. All right, let's go back to our vehicle, because we're going to talk about something else. Did I mention that odometer smart button? And this is actually kind of cool. I like it a lot. We definitely need to know how many miles are on the car, so regularly updating the odometer readings is key to keeping an accurate record of the car's usage, especially for those service warranties. Now, if I want to see all the contracts, services, or odometer readings for my vehicle and my entire fleet, actually, I can actually just click on fleet up here in the top left, and you know where I'm going right there. And I'm going to click on the category of services. And would you look at that? Here, all of the services for the whole fleet are displayed, organized by type of service, and that's pretty neat. Now, let's go back to our vehicle by selecting fleet, fleet, and back in there, three clicks. 
very last thing that I want to show you at this point is how to log notes and schedule activities inside of the chatter section over here. If we wanted to make a new to do, we just select activities right there. And I'm going to assign this one once again. I don't want to do any work today, so Mike. And for the summary, we're going to tell him to schedule snow tire install. And we schedule that. And right away, Odu places it in the green. Now the planned activity section of the chatter shows that he has to wash the car and schedule snow tire installation. And under that, we can also see that I also changed the driver. We have the full record, Odur. And that's, that's the best thing that we can have. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and check out our other fleet videos. Till then, go grab a snack. Enjoy this picture of my car.